Okay, we got one more example and there's a whole bunch of things in here. So strap in, here we go. We are in a boat leaving Naples, Florida, which I really, really, really wish I was because it's almost spring break and it's cold here in Indiana, but let's keep going. They've given us a picture that once again, I don't think that they completely trust our intelligence because they've put in a lot of information for us. So I'm in my boat, I want to leave Naples and I'm heading to Key West. However, what I realize is that I eventually realize that I'm 20 degrees off course. That's what this 20 is. Now, where does this 60 come from? This 60 comes from the fact that my boat is traveling 15 miles per hour, 15 miles per hour, you can even put in the one if we want, and it takes me four hours to figure out that I am not going the correct direction. So there's my four hours. My hours will cancel. That gives me my 60 miles from right there. Okay, I think it's good to know where those numbers came from. Now, first question they ask is how far is the boat from Key West? So here's our boat when we realize, oops, and here's Key West, so we're solving for x. Now, when we look at this problem, what we do know is that we could actually fill in this, um, this angle right here, but I need to solve for my x, so I'm gonna go ahead and, it's good to actually just even outline this. So the first thing that we're gonna do to solve for our x is we can use our, they want us to use our peace fingers on this, our 60 miles here, our 150, sorry, let me make sure that you know this, it's this distance right here, that's 150 miles. The way the picture is drawn, it kind of looks like that 150 is pointing to that angle, but it's not at all. So I want to find x. I don't have a link in any way, okay? I don't know the measure of an angle and a side across, because remember this is our miles. So no link anywhere. We're going to do our peace fingers. So peace, grab those peace fingers, place them on here. So what we know are these two sides right here and this angle. So we're solving for a side. So if we're solving for our side, we can set up our great big square root. Remember, peace fingers first. We're gonna square them and add them together. 60 squared plus 120 squared minus, now we're gonna, sub we're gonna subtract two times our peace fingers. So two times 60 times 1, 50, just realized back here, sorry about that, not stopping this video for that, because I have erasable pens. All right, two times 60 times 150, and then I need the cosine of that included angle, cosine 20. Okay, so we're gonna type this in our calculator. And when I type this in my calculator, I should get 9185.53. Don't clear the calculator. We're just writing it down to make sure that you're in the right spot. Then we're going to take the square root of that, and you should get that we are 95.8 miles. Okay, so we are 95.8 miles away from where we need to be, okay? Now, that's our first question. How far are we away from Key West? The next question is what angle should we turn to correct our course? So, in order to make our turn, we ultimately need to find this theta, but before we do that, we're going to find this angle A, okay? Now, what we want to do here, and this is a really important element, is that since we started this problem using law of cosines, 
these fingers, we're going to continue it with law of cosines, even though we are often tempted to switch to law of sines. Whatever law you start with, you need to finish the problem with that same law. So we're going to find angle A. We're going to do that first. So now we can go back to our other form. Remember, piece fingers, piece fingers go on each side. So that's going to be cosine A. Square the piece fingers and add them together in the numerator. So 60 squared plus 95.8 squared. They get squared and added together in the numerator. And in the denominator, we're going to actually just multiply them together. I'm going to use parentheses on this because the decimal looks kind of confusing. Okay. Then I'm going to subtract the square of the opposite side. So I'm going to subtract 150 squared. We can type all of this in our calculator, and this one is going to give us something a little bit unique. So I'm actually going to go ahead and type this whole one in the calculator so you can see what happens because it awesomely connects back to what we did before. So I got 60 squared plus 95.8 squared minus 150 squared. Divide that by 2 times 60 times 95.8. And at this point, you might be thinking, whoa, 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 why is that negative? But remember, if we think all students take calculus, if I have a negative cosine ratio, that must mean that my angle is going to be in the second quadrant. In other words, my angle is going to be obtuse. So second cosine, and sure enough, that gives me an angle A of approximately 148 degrees. That is not the angle though that we need to answer our question. This angle is 148, I need theta. So we are going to turn the 180 minus the 148. In other words, we're gonna turn 32 degrees. Pretty important information there to remember that we're looking for that angle outside. Last little bit is some travel time, so we're just going to work with our units, and this part's going to go pretty quickly. Um, so our travel time for the last leg. What we know is that we have 95.8 miles to go. Okay. From the original problem, it told us how fast we were traveling, and that was 15 miles per hour. We need our miles to cancel, so 15 miles per one hour. In other words, 6.4 hours. So I have 6.4 hours to travel that last leg, so my total travel time is the original 4 plus the new 6.4. In other words, my total trip is 10.4 hours. I'm really feeling like we should have gotten on an airplane for this trip because that seems like a really long time to just be riding along on a boat. But, you know, maybe that's okay with you. The original planned one was 150 hours or 150 miles. And that was 15 miles per hour or a nice 10 hours. Again, I really feel like an airplane would have been, would have been a good choice. So our excess, we're just going to subtract 0.4 hours. Okay, if somebody came up to me and told me that it was going to take 0.4 hours, I would think they were kind of weird. So personally, I would want to convert this to minutes because that is much more meaningful to me. 24 minutes. Finissimo. Well done, and we'll do a little bit more in class tomorrow.